So it's week one, day four. And I decided to switch it up a little bit. You know, a, a lot of our testimonies are meant to help other people overcome things or to shed light on how to grow closer to God or how to walk out your life as Christians or just to uplift other people. So I'm going to tell you one of my one of my many miracle stories. So around 2000, I felt God telling me that he wanted me to be a therapist, but he wanted me to be a therapist to high functioning Christian people, high functioning Christian people, which at the time I was one and uh, I'm still a Christian. I'm still high functioning, but Oh, you get it. Anyway, so I said, okay, God, I'll be a therapist. And and no problem with that, but two conditions. I don't want any school loans, and I don't want to take any graduate school entrance exams. And he said, okay. So the program that I entered was at Eastern University, which uh, which I had been working in their building already, for another program that dealt with peer lending. So we had our meetings in their building. I'd picked up the brochure many times and put it down or taken it home or put it in my bag. Many times I had walked around and even met in the same rooms that I wound up taking classes in. So that was cool when I decided to, to when God told me to, to become a therapist, that was the first place I looked because I'd already been there. So... Uh huh. They didn't require a graduate admissions test. No GRE for me. No GRE for me. So that was the one thing that was great. And the second thing was at the time, I was a real estate agent and I was working for a small company in Philly uh, with Jack Harris. For those of you who know Jack, I was working with Jack Harris and I was. Uh, in the office one day, and his daughter had this guy coming in who would always ask her for new leads, always looking for new leads. And she didn't have any, or if she didn't have any new things, she would come to me and ask me if I had any. And, you know, at the time, I had only been a real estate agent for like three years, so I would just go in and search the computers for good deals. And I would find them all the time. It's like, ooh, this is a good deal. Ooh, this is a good deal. And I'd always look for somebody to tell, ooh, I got a good deal. So this guy who was coming in uh, noticed that she would always kind of come to me and say, hey, so if you got any good deals, anything that's hot on the market, and I'd give her whatever I had. So one day, and this is all before I got in grad school, one day this guy came and he, he, he was walking by my office where, where I was sitting after leaving her office and he slipped me his number. He slipped me his number. And I was like, mm, what your name is? But I knew who he was. But he slipped me his number, so I, when I got in the car, I called him because, you know, actually, I'll tell you who it was. It was Marvin Harrison uh, at the time. He played for Indianapolis Colts. Uh, he was a, a wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, he's now a um, Hall of Famer. Congrats, bruh! So this dude, this professional athlete, athlete slipped single me before being a therapist his number. And I was like, mm-hmm. Uh -huh what your name is. I already know what your name is. But really, he was just looking for real estate deals, and he wanted to work with me directly because he noticed that the uh, the other girl was always coming to me. So I was like, okay, I feel like I'm cheating on her. I'm stealing her from you. I'm stealing you from her. That's not right. We have to tell her. And he was like, okay, we can tell her, but I want to work with you. I was like, okay, well, um, let me talk to her. So I was all nervous, and she was like, girl, yeah, go on, you can work with him. So I was like, okay, cool. So that was the start of a long five-year re real estate relationship. And I always say Marvin Harrison and the Indianapolis Colts have been very, very good to me because they basically paid my whole way through grad school. They paid my tuition, the part that wasn't 
I also received a fellowship, which was the other part of God's promise. But Marvin Harrison and actually Raheem Brock, who was also an NFL player, they both paved my way through grad school. Thanks, dudes. So that's one of my stories. I want you to just know how God is faithful, how he can work through other people. When he needs you to do something, he'll provide the way for you to do it.